Okay, you ever wonder what VTEC is? VTEC is variable valve timing, and it's a mechanical variable valve timing. It uses this solenoid, which is really funny because it looks an awful lot like the same solenoids that are on the transmission. Funny, isn't it? Behind this solenoid, there's oil pressure. At a certain RPM, when the computer deems it so, there's a sensor that says, okay, it's time for VTEC. This solenoid activates, it sends oil pressure up through this camshaft inside the cylinder head, and there are passages underneath here. Now normally, when the engine is running, it just runs off of these two rocker arms. So when you're just driving around and you're not in VTEC, it's just going to be working with these two rocker arms, and this one's pretty much just going to stay doing nothing. It's still on a cam lobe, so it's still going to move, but it's not going to move these. This cam lobe that the VTEC is on is a higher lift and duration than, these, than the other lobes that these are normally running off, running off of. So normally, these rocker arms are just going up and down based on those cam lobes. But when pressurized oil goes through this rocker shaft, what happens is, is oil pressure goes into the center rocker arm, there's a small hole in here, and goes through a passage up to this end here, and inside this special rocker arm there are two metal pegs that come out and go into the other rocker arms. So in other words, these outer rocker arms becomes locked to the center rocker arm. As a result, it works off this other low, which you can see is a higher lift and duration, therefore activating VTEC. So that is, at least as far as a Honda is concerned, how VTEC works. So normally this is not working when VTEC activates, the pins come out, lock this whole assembly together, and work the valves at a higher lift and duration. Variable valve timing. Cool.